to the LK squad. What is good? What is up? What is good? What is up? What is up to the LK squad? Hello. How y'all doing? <laughs> Comment down below how y'all do it. Before we get in this video, I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Also, I need y'all to turn on your post notifications because we're going to be posting videos every day. Hey, throughout December. Hey, throughout December. Hey, because it is Vlogmas. Y'all, I really hope the neighbors can't hear me. <laughs> Okay, so y'all read that title. So since you read that title, you already know what we're doing. So let's get into it. my top nine Christmas movies and why. Number one, The Polar Express. The Polar Express was my number one movie because who doesn't love The Polar Express? Like, you just, I watched it when we were kids and, you know, just growing up and these kids on a train and they're like they don't have no parents like i mean well he had parents but it was like he got to leave he left in the middle of the night like he just up and left you know without them really knowing and it was just like i don't know it was just it was a lot like it was a very beautiful movie so that's why that's my favorite the police versus my number one because it was just so beautiful and it was just so it was just heartwarming it was a very touching movie the police race is a very very good movie so if you have not seen it go see it number two home alone christmas you guys home alone christmas was number one was so lit like this little boy just beat these people ass like that's why i love that movie like it's action like I mean, of course, you ain't supposed to be fighting, you know, Christmas or whatever. But he fought for his family, and he was down to earth. So they know that he wasn't going to let nobody in their house. That's why I, with the movie, uh, okay. Number three, you guys, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. I love that movie, and it really made me cry because they left him. How can you forget a child? Like, how? I mean, I know they had a big family, and they all was rushing. You know, things get misordered, out of order, and nobody paying attention. But when you're in the car, you're supposed to do a head count. Everybody do a head count. Okay, so-and-so here, so-and-so here. You know, if it's a big family, that way nobody can get lost, okay? Okay. Number four. Santa Claus, the Santa Claus. The Santa Claus was a very, very, very good movie. Um, it's about a little boy. Uh, you know, Santa came on a roof, got scared, slipped and fell, died. So his dad uh puts on a suit and he becomes Santa Claus. And at first he didn't want to do it, but his son, you know, encouraged him, you know, dad like this is a good idea so go ahead and do it so it was a very um interesting movie to watch you know uh it's more of a family movie so i really like that movie it was a really good movie uh he got the you know living a life of santa claus and you know he never did that before so that was a very good movie number five the grinch that stole christmas y'all Whoever created this movie, y'all is just real dope because, like, y'all was very creative. Like, it's about, you know, this Grinch. He stole Christmas. He took all their presents. Like, everybody lived in this little town. And, you know, they all was loving and kind and nice. And then this Grinch come take their clothes. Uh, their clothes. Hopefully it was in a box. Anyway, their presents. And this little girl, you know, warms his heart and changes his mind and he brings the presents back. So, The Grinch That Stole Christmas was a very touching movie because, I mean, it shows a little good and bad. You know, mostly good than bad, but it was a very good movie. Too. Number six, The Best Man Holiday. You guys, if I'm not saying the right one, please comment down below the right name because I think this is the one. I'm not sure, but the Best Man Holiday Christmas, the one when uh, Maya died um, in the movie, 
That one was very, very touching. It was very sad. Number seven. Friday after next. Xmas in the hood. Uh, if you watch Friday, of course, you know every Friday movie going to be lit. So if they make one about Christmas, y'all don't think that's going to be lit? And they did. They made one about Christmas. And it was lit. That's why I like that movie. Because that movie was lit, y'all. For real. I really love that movie. Y'all, I love that movie. Number eight. Frozen. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, y'all. Frozen is... Frozen? Come on now. It's frozen, y'all. It is frozen. Who don't... Who doesn't love Frozen. Who doesn't for honestly y'all i'm not even sure frozen is really a christmas movie i think they just made it frozen in a christmas time i'm lying i think it is a christmas movie y'all comment down below let me know is it a christmas movie or frozen is just frozen i'm not sure because i think frozen is supposed to be a christmas movie regardless i love me some frozen so i wrote frozen down on my list so yep that's number eight last but not least number nine this christmas the one starring Chris <laughs> Breezy. Uh, you guys, and this Christmas will be a very special Christmas for me, baby. Dun 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 dun. Shake your hand, shake your hand. Nah. Okay, y'all. This Christmas was a really good, good movie. It was a very touching movie, and. This Christmas is one of the movies that you will watch with your family. That is a family. That is, to me, is the all-time family movie this Christmas. If you're going to watch a Christmas movie, watch this Christmas with your family because it is just so good. It is You have laughs. You have crying. I mean, you get mad at some points. But overall, it became, you know, it came out a really beautiful movie. So, that is it, you guys. And that is my nine Christmas movies and why. So, y'all, comment down below. Let me know, what are y'all Christmas movies? Comment y'all Christmas movies. Let me know why they your Christmas movies. Let me know. Let me know. You guys, I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. And y'all, I was debating about doing this. And so now I'm going to do it now that we are at the end of here. My coworkers gave me a early Christmas gift, you guys. So I'm going to open it up right here right now and see what they talking about okay y'all i wanted to cry i really did but miss t was telling me you know don't cry you cry i'm gonna cry and i'm like ah oh. she's like ah oh. i'm like okay we not gonna cry so they waited first of all backstory they plotted on me mm-hmm yeah so when you watch it you know sneakies you're very sneaky they plotted on me I didn't even see a car nowhere. Like, I never seen a car. This is an eight-hour shift. I never seen a car. Never seen them leave out. Never seen nobody come in with a car. Nothing. Nothing at all. Never seen them do nothing. And we getting ready to leave. And Miss Tigna got her arm behind her back. And, like, I, you know, kind of was like, why she got her arm behind her back? But, I mean, hell, if y'all want to have my arm behind my back, I can have my arm behind my back. So I'm like, well, hell, it ain't my business, so keep your arm behind your back. So I'm checking out, and she walk up to me, and she like, I'm like, oh, I know you lied. I know you lied. Oh, I know you lied, girl. You lied. And she said it wasn't just her. So I want to give a special thanks to my coworkers. Y'all know where y'all at. I'm not going to put y'all job out. Y'all know where y'all at. Y'all know who y'all are. But I really give a special thanks to y'all. I really appreciate it. And I thank y'all for everything that y'all have done and everything that y'all have taught me. Y'all have taught me a lot. I'm only 20 years old. And since I've been there, the nine months I was there, y'all helped me grow in a wonderful way. And I really do appreciate it. And I thank y'all. And I love y'all. Even great. But uh, we finna open this gear. We finna get lit. Let's get it. Okay. 
Ugh, she leaked on me. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Look, you guys. You guys. I, I mean, I seen. Well, okay. Okay. Hey, Lauren B. We're going to miss you. Your future is bright. Don't stop chasing your dreams. Enjoy your enjoy the journey. Always keep God first. I wish you were You're a voice for Christ. Chase dreams, not people. As you move in that. As you move in that. I don't know that word. What? Who wrote this one? Great. You know I don't know your handwriting. You got to tell me this one word. If you move in that something, trust God he will see you through. Wish you all the best, girl. Keep being you. Z. <laughs> May almighty God guard you, keep you safe, and... In the move. Safe in your move. I think that's what it say. Be yourself and be strong. We will miss you. God bless you. Keep following your beliefs. May God bless you on your new path. Aww. A great person with an amazing smile deserves world and deserves the world and beyond good luck good luck with your new adventures on you guys y'all they gave me some shmoney Now that I'm back from dying. You guys, I really appreciate this. I'm not going to put um, this money in the camera. But I really do appreciate y'all for this. Y'all, I'm going to cry. Um, y'all, thank y'all. Stay tuned for more, y'all. We are dropping bangers all December long. I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Spam it up. And y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you.